All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Clay Pros. This is episode three. And in this series, what I'm doing is taking a number of complex situations or strange situations that are for, for B2B companies and then showing how I would use Clay to solve their prospecting issues. So as you can see, I've got ChatGPT loaded up here. Um, I've got ChatGPT giving me these scenarios and then breaking them down. Uh, it's also giving me a little script, which is nice as well. I haven't read this, but it is quite nice that it does this for you. Now, in this specific episode here, we're going to be looking at what we would do for a company that targets segments of the hospitality industry, um, focusing on high-end restaurants, luxury hotels, gourmet culinary schools, and then provides them with premium kitchen appliances, professional cookware, and state-of-the-art food preparation technologies. Okay, it's so a very specific, very niche Okay, and we're gonna show you how we can use clay to do that. Okay, so it's super powerful. And I just wanted to start this off by showing you ChatGPT because a lot of people talk about, you know, using AI in prospecting and how can we use AI in prospecting? Well, the, the way that we utilize it for our company, okay, we're not using it to write cold emails, we're not using it to do X, Y, or Z, we're using it for research purposes. It's super powerful to accelerate research purposes. So if you look here, you can see that it's broken it down into target customers, geographic focus, and then you know all this sort of stuff. Uh, I also asked it some questions specifically about it, it broke it down. Then I wanted to get into the nitty gritty of you know what are we looking at here so i said give me five examples of hotels and restaurants that match our icp i'm just gonna make my face a bit smaller then we can carry on and you can see here that it's giving me these websites so i can instantly see straight away these are examples of the icp that we're trying to target okay so we've got obviously claridge's in london we've got osteria francicana in italy and then we've got 11 madison park which is clearly just opening up Okay, so we've got some good examples there. We now know who the ICP is as well. And then alongside this as well, I wanted to, to give me some key words so that I could isolate companies that we want as part of my ICP. And this is gonna be super useful when we move over to Clay to actually build out the lead lists, okay? Now, I have no idea about restaurants apart from I enjoy eating in them, but I'm not in that industry, so I don't know the keywords that are involved in it. So I've get asked ChatGPT to give me these keywords. So you can see now we've got Michelin star restaurant. I knew what a Michelin star restaurant was. We've got gourmet chef, I would never have thought of that. Um, you know, award-winning cuisine, signature restaurant, culinary art schools. All of these key words that we're looking for here as well. And then it even goes down even further here. So these are super advanced keywords. We've got molecular gastronomy. So if you want to be super, super specific, you could do that. Farm to table restaurants, bespoke dining experience, celebrity chef restaurant. All these things are super, super powerful. Okay. And then finally, I wanted it to give me some job titles that we could target. Okay. Because again, the only person I know in a, in a kitchen is a chef, okay? But that's not, is that a job title? I'm not sure. So I said to give me more specific uh, details here. So we've got executive chefs. Then it gives me their responsibility. So it tells me exactly what these guys do and what their pain points would be. General manager, director of food and beverage, purchasing manager, restaurant manager, sous chef. So we have, I believe, 10 job titles here that we could target. So let's say that we have a very small lead list. We could turn this lead list into a larger lead list and we can run individualized campaigns to each one of these people. And then we can see who we get the best response rate from. And again, if you've already been in business for a long time and you already know who the best person to target is, you can just go straight to it. But if you're starting fresh, and this is kind of what I'm showing you here, you can do a lot of your pre-research using ChatGPT, using AI, um, to get an initial foundation that you can then base theories on, run those theories, and then collect data from there as well. But you can do this very, very fast. I literally did this in five minutes, okay? So super, super powerful. And again, gives you strategy for contact as well, but I don't really trust ChatGPT with that. Very good as a research tool. Now, we're gonna move over to Clay now, and I'm gonna show you what we're doing to actually search for these companies. So in Clay, we're using the find companies using LinkedIn feature so you just go add a new table find companies from LinkedIn super powerful and then what I'm doing is using a lookalike so I've added in those three um, luxury establishments that were that we're hoping to target okay as a lookalike so it's going to find companies that are similar to that I've added an industry here um, so I'm looking for hospitality restaurants and hotels and motels ideally we don't want motels but that's why we're going to sort of 
filter that out with the keywords below. I'm not gonna put in anything about company sizes because you know, from the initial research that I've done, a lot of people who work in hotels, who work in restaurants, are not necessarily on LinkedIn. So the company size filter may be a little bit inaccurate. So I just wanna kinda of leave that open. We're gonna filter that later down. Um, I don't need to check if it's privately held or publicly held, but what I've done here is I've included those keywords as a Michelin star, luxury hotel, fine dining, gourmet chef, award-winning cuisine, okay? So super, super powerful keywords that we're gonna use to filter. And then for, for locations as well, I've done places that I know have luxury and high end, so United States, United Kingdom, United Arab Emirates, Japan, France and Italy. Obviously we can add in more cities if we'd like to, but I'm just, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna do this right here. Now, what I've asked it to do is give me a preview of 50. So we can see here, as I scan down, and I've already pre-checked this list here, um, and it's very accurate actually. We've got, you know, hotels, we've got five-star hotels here, um, we've got restaurants, we've got, you know, resorts, these sort of things. And this all works really well with what we're looking for, which is super powerful. And you can see here that we've got 436 matching results. Now, what I'm gonna do is then import this into, uh, into Clay, and then I will come back to you once I have built out the table and I'll work you through, I'll walk you through the build out of the table as well. But I wanted to show you this initial of how we actually get the table in the first place. Okay guys, so I've been working, I've made the table, I've been working away like a little worker bee. Um, so now I'm gonna show you how I would design this table and then my reasoning and thoughts behind it, okay? So you can see that we've imported all these companies. We have 394 different companies in here um, that match the description that we're looking for. Um, I just used the uh, free clay import here. So this is the basic uh, information you can get. If you wanted to fully enrich it, you could do that as well but I find this information to be perfectly reasonable for us to create a base from, okay? We don't wanna spend a lot of credits before we know that they're super qualified. We wanna save our credits for super qualified leads, okay, but I'll explain now. So you can see, you know, we've got all this relevant information that we need to know, name, description, primary industry, blah, blah, blah. But the, the first thing that we're doing here to qualify them, okay, is we're using Clagent, um, when it loads in here, <laughs> to search up the domains here. So I'll show you exactly what I've done when it loads up. So we're taking Clagent here and we're gonna utilize it to search for relevant information that we're looking for regarding this company, okay? So we're saying go to this website, we're giving it the website, we're also giving it the company name and your task is to find news, press releases, articles or blog posts about the following information in 2024 new menus or expansions, okay? So that's what we're looking for. So we've done that and now we've got a result from that so we can see the result here. Um, you can see that it's going, you know, this one here is undergoing multi-million pound developments. There's no specific information here, da 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 Now, this information is good, but it's not quantifiable, okay? It's not quantifiable information. We want to quantify that as a yes or a no so that we can see if they're qualified. So basically what we're going to do next is use the same tool, Clagent. Once again, Clagent is my favorite tool with Clay, okay? And then we're going to get it to read the reasoning here. So we're going to get it to look at the reasoning and then give us a yes or no. So we want to make sure that this is relevant to us. We want to know that this information is relevant to us. So we're going to get it to read it, okay? So this is the prompt that I used. Read this information and determine if this is regarding food, restaurants, menus, or culinary information, because this is what we want to find out, okay? If the output is yes, then output yes. If it is no, then output no. So we can see here that we've got some companies here. This information here that it's found out was regarding was yes. This is yes, this is yes, this is yes. So we've got a few companies here that this is good for, okay? But this doesn't mean that we could give up on these other companies. We just wanna quantify this. So, and I'll show you why later on in the video, okay? Now, the next thing that we're looking for is, is there a new chef being hiring, okay? So we're looking for buying signals, you know, is there any information about new menus or an expansion? Is there anything about a new chef hiring? Because if a new chef's hired, they might bring uh, their own expertise and they wanna do a new menu or they wanna do a new dish that requires a new piece of culinary uh, technology that we can supply them, okay? We wanna find out all these buying signals. So this is a buying signal. Has there been a chef hired? So again, we're using Clayton to search up the internet and we're gonna give it a prompt to ask it to find this information. So we're just gonna load this up and then I'll show you what that looks like.
Okay, cool. So again, we're saying visit this website and then search the internet using this name and determine if they've recently, in the past year, so we're giving it a time frame, hired a new head chef or executive chef or celebrity chef. Okay, so those are three titles that we're looking for, head chef, executive chef or celebrity chef. And then again, telling it what to output for us so that we can quantify it yes or no okay so again it's given us information here and then we can look at the reasoning as well and it'll tell you the reasoning so it's super powerful um, so let's say yes here we'll take a look at it and then we can see the rent the 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 um, reasoning here that this has appointed a new executive chef Tony Tapia okay so we've got a whole bunch of other senior appointments there as well let's take this one Bianca and it ludes. Cool. So we can see that this uh, company here has recently uh, got Adam Wolfers um, as a new executive chef. Okay, so we can see there that this information is correct. We can look at the reasoning and we can see it there as well. Okay, so now moving on, we're now looking for funding. So we want to check has this establishment, has this restaurant or whatever it is had funding in the past year. Again, we want to know this. Is this true or is it not? Again, we're qualifying these leads, you know. Are they releasing new menus? Have they hired a new chef? Have they received funding? Again, we're giving these tick boxes, tick boxes, tick boxes that we're looking for. And again, yes or no. So we've got this as yes or no answers right here. Now, the next thing that we wanna look at is, is this a hotel restaurant or a standalone restaurant? And again, this could change the way that we're outreaching to them. So we're qualifying this information, getting it to search the internet, looking it up and determining, is this a standalone restaurant or is this a restaurant within a hotel? This might determine who we actually reach out to. So once we've qualified all of this, then we're gonna go ahead and find people. So we found people here, uh, and then what we're looking up for is certain job titles that I use ChatGPT to give me those job titles. So when this loads up, I'll show you what those job titles are. Okay, so you can see the different job titles that we're looking for here. Um, executive chef, general manager, all of these things that would be relevant for us to reach out to, and then it's gonna search those up, okay? So you can see that we found two people for this company, we found four people for this company, but it's gonna put out the most relevant person. So we found Stephen Gedman, Oliver Martin here, um, and we found their names, we found their last name, we found their title, um, when this loads in as well. And you can see that these are executive chefs and restaurant managers. Now, from here, we could then take this, we could find their email, we could find their phone number, um, we could then run that information directly into our email sender, so whether that's instantly or smart lead or whatever you're using. Now, what I've done here is I've got it to score these leads. And the beauty of what I see Clay, you know, in the, the main use case for Clay, is it replaces a lot of manual research and it can do it very, very quickly. Imagine how long it would take a single SDR to go through and look up news, look up have they hired a new chef, look up if they've received funding, think of how many different tools they would have to use to use this as well. Work out is this a standalone restaurant, then find people relevant at the company, okay? We can do this in a second. And this is not to replace SDRs as a whole, but to give them more ammo to do what they need to do best. Now, and the, the way that I see this happening is we've scored this row in clay. So we've created a custom score, okay, based upon the information that we found out, whether this is yes, whether this is yes, whether this is yes, and whether this is a hotel restaurant. And we've each given this a point. So this is one, two, three, four points, okay? So we can see right here that this first lead that we've got is a four out of four. So this is a hot lead. What we could do here is then determine and we could segment them based on the quality of the leads. So if it's a two, it's a warm lead, we could just run automated outreach to them. But if it's four, it's a super hot lead, it's super matched to your ICP, and they've got all these tick boxes, we could then push this directly to an SDR for a really high manual, personalized touch points, you know, connecting on LinkedIn, sending a message, sending a gift, you know, going and talking to them in person, whatever it is, okay? If they're a hot lead, we still need those human outputs, okay? But if it's a two, you know, we're not really sure yet, we can do some automated outreach and we can still run it that way. The beauty of it is that we could run this entire list, there's 394 leads, and we could get that information like that. How long would it take a single SDR to do that on their own? hours and hours and weeks, maybe weeks, maybe months to get them through this, okay? Whereas we can find out this information quickly, pass over the super hot qualified leads, 
to the SDRs to do personalized manual outreach straight away and then we can automate the rest of the outreach and this can all be done within a couple of hours so super powerful anyways that's the end of the video guys um, I hope you enjoyed if you have any questions any suggestions anything you think I missed anything you'd like to see me do in the future then leave a comment below I'm, I'm, I'm always happy to take a look at those I hope you enjoyed it make sure you to leave a like make sure to subscribe for more um, I'm dropping one of these videos every week and I think I'm going to do around 10 of these episodes so cool and I'll see you in the next one thank you